Meat bicycle! Hello everybody! Welcome back to another Speed Farm 101 guide here on Borderlands 2. This is the series where I take you through all of the bosses in the game, mini bosses, farmable, that kind of thing, for their legendary weapons and give you guys some tips on how to speed things up with all characters and uh, just make the farms quicker, whether it be positioning, speed farming skips, rocket jumping skips, things like that. So today we are back uh, and we're in Frostburn Canyon for our second of three guys in here that are farmable. Today we're going to be looking at farming this guy right here, Incinerator Clayton, and uh, got quite a few uh, little tips for you to make this much quicker. So uh, let's get on with the guide and we'll start off by doing a normal run. I like to do this just to show you guys uh, how long uh, a farm can be normally. This is sped up, but you'll see the route here in Fosburn to get to Incinerate Clayton is very, very long. Uh, you've got to go right around most of the map. Uh, this is sped up and using a Breakneck Banshee Fleet Maya, which is fast anyway. But uh, this is where uh, Clayton actually is in this area here, surrounded by a lot of enemies. So be careful not to go down too much. But uh, we cra grab him eventually, get him into phase lock, and uh, down he goes. So we are after the pyrophobia today. That is his specific drop. So let's get on with the tips and guides on how to make this quicker. So when you spawn in, you're going to want to run up this hill. Uh, this is where we went before. You see it's a very, very long way going down through the uh, bandit camps into the tunnel and then across the bridge. Now the aim for all characters to make this quicker is to actually skip most of, more than half of that actual run right there. By just running up to this simple point right here near this small bandit camp, you'll see that there's a cliff just here. We're going to just do a simple grenade or um, rocket jump and get straight on there. So throw a grenade against the cliff and then just fire your batter boom at the floor and jump up. That is how simple it can be. Uh, all you're going to need is a sham shield, a batter boom and uh, unequipping the grenade mod. You'll see if you were rocket jumping from Zerka and you've got two batter booms, no need for the grenade jump. Just simply uh, put your two rockets down and jump up the cliff. That will spawn you into this point right here. So you can see that there is a massive section that uh, you actually miss. Uh, I actually went a little bit wrong there uh, on where I'm showing you. You go around there. So that is that whole section skipped just there. Uh, so you're just going to simply come down here and take out more than half of the farm. And then from there you can carry on and just head down this hill here. And you will soon be at Clayton. So you can see how much quicker that is. Absolutely fast as hell and uh, really does speed things up no end so once you kill Clayton you can uh, if you don't get his weapon you can quit out come back in and do that again over and over again very quickly now for the rocket jumping gun zerkers out there this is uh, one of the most complicated moves you'll ever do but there's that hole right there that you come out of at the end of uh, meeting Lily for the first time um, and you will see that um, you can actually get back into it by going through there, skipping across here, and then making it even quicker to get to uh, Incinerator Clayton. Uh, now this is very complicated, it actually involves a quad grenade rocket jump to get into that hole. You can do it um, a little bit messed up, at which I will show you first and come back. But basically to do a quad rocket jump, you're going to need to chuck two grenades in the air up there. Now you can do this by equipping this skill here, double your fun, that will give you two grenades when you throw, uh, which gives you extra grenade jump uh, bonuses. So you're going to throw two grenades up in the air, and at the point when it's uh, looking like it's at its highest and it's about to come back down, you're going to look down at the floor, chuck two more grenades down, and then act and treat it like a normal grenade jump. So once the bounce comes back up, jump and uh, fire your batter booms, and it will come back up. Now I'll show you a couple of examples of this. I don't get it perfect every time. This is a very hard thing to do. You can see right there, messed up. But once again, throw two grenades in the air, wait till they're at the point where you think they're at the very highest and then chuck two down on the floor and then jump uh, or, well, when they all explode, uh, which you'll see right there. Now, if you do mess up, uh, you can maybe try and chuck two grenades back here and jump up as well and do it in two sections. That doesn't always work, but it does sometimes. So this is my successful attempt right here. Uh, you can see, once again, get to the right position, chuck them down, and then if you're lucky enough, the grenades will go off, boost you up into this hole, and you are away. Uh, it does take a lot of practice. When you get the hang of it, you can do it pretty quickly. From here, just turn left and uh, jump over here. Now, I actually hit a cliff, and it puts me slightly off balance, but if you can land up there, 
uh, and you know you don't have to mess around with this ladder here so it makes it much quicker and you can just probably get to Clayton with your um, Gunzerk still active but all you've got to do is uh, just wait for it to recharge and uh, kill Clayton right here so two different ways uh, but the results are eventually the same and that is the pyrophobia drop right here and I actually got this on my fourth attempt uh, of farming him and uh, yeah there you go that is the pyrophobia so I really hope this helps it's a very very good rocket launcher especially in early playthroughs things like that so if you want to get it uh, this obviously isn't the best area to test it because most of these guys are very resistant to flame but uh, yeah very nice rocket launcher and uh, really does help against human enemies things like that just keep firing it and uh, eventually they will die anyway guys that is my tips for speed farming um, incinerate clayton on the frostburn canyon map really hope this helps and uh, yeah two different routes both are much much quicker than the original so this should really help a lot of people speed up their farms anyway thank you guys for watching really hope you've enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one